Welcome to High Tech Hydroponics. Uh, this is Noah Brooks here, your general manager, here to talk about Kessel's new line of LED spotlighting. We have the H350 series, and um, it's been redesigned with a slightly larger profile canister um, and a larger lens, which is delivering more output per unit. Um, they're about two and a half times the power of the original unit and uh, at about one and a half times the price. So you're getting quite a, quite a bit of value here with these lights. So they have two new spectrums, uh, two new colors that they've come out with this time. And uh, we have a deep purple, which we're showing right now, which is mainly focused on vegetative spectrum. Um, it's got a amplified blue blue spectrum range, so you're going to get a lot more branching, more lush foliage. In fact, a side-by-side -side comparison with a thousand watt light this time uh, that I personally did showed tighter nodal spacing, more lush and bigger foliage, uh, more side branching, and just an overall better response from the light. So then we have the magenta spectrum, um, and uh, discussing the performance of the magenta in a side-by-side -side comparison, we were getting really good performance and uh, not quite keeping up with your 1000 watt light, but doing a really good job of outperforming a 600 watt light. The four spots together on the fixture here is set to cover a 4x4 four four area, which is good to grow you know, anywhere between six large plants and 12 to 16 very short plants. And um, uh, penetration is really impressive. It's doing much better than the H150s. And um, overall energy consumption is down about 66% based on your um, thousand watt light. What everybody wants to know about is bloom. The magenta spectrum of the H350 lights that we've tested so far have been performing very well in bloom. The primary differences that we've seen uh, happen when you immediately change your lights into bloom. Uh, as everybody knows, HPS lights tend to make your plants want to stretch. There's many nutrients that we use to try and combat this stretching period in your plants, um, but Kessel seems to have done something about it. Um, what we saw is that the stretch phase in the first three weeks of flowering um, was reduced by 50% while building about two times the amount of nodal spacing in per square inch of stem um, to provide a much larger bloom um, uh, with tighter flower clusters. Uh, further into flowering we were seeing um, uh, quite a bit of uh, emphasis in essential oil production um, and um, fragrance and aroma in plants. Uh, the foliage was a lot more lush than a thousand watt HPS and um, uh, branching seemed to be a lot more stimulated. So overall, um, I guess the focus of these lights is really favoring a um, more compact and bushier plant that you can grow in, a, in closer proximity. Easing into ripening uh, from this light in their final stage of bloom, we found um, you know, there was no halt or delay in metabolic responses in terms of getting your plants to really kick into that third trimester of bloom and uh, really big lush flavorful fruits at the end. Overall a very good product. Uh, the price is right where it should be at uh, $427.95 for each, each light and uh, at 86.4 watts a piece of electrical draw you can't beat that.